Hi guys! So uh, today I'm gonna try to show you my favorite series. I'm gonna try to break them down in um, genres. If I do mix them up, I'm sorry. And also I'm not gonna say that much about it because I do believe there are a lot. So uh, I'm gonna try to leave the link below to my blog and look through the um, views that I have. Hopefully that will help more. If you love Fallen Angels, and like uh, be like a mix with angels and fallen angel. I do believe you should go for the Hush Hush series, fallen uh, series. It's again a new and um, original, my opinion, book. Um, sorry, series. It is again four books. Um, it has torment, fallen, rapture. Passion. Okay, this is a different way of seeing the fallen angels. It's not how you actually know and how it is in the um, Hush Hush series. It's different, and it's it's really interesting. And it has a powerful uh, romance between uh, two characters that they keep like getting attracted. Like they try for years, like thousand of years, the, especially the angel, tried to stay away from this human, but every time she gets reincarnated, they get attr uh, attracted to each other. So uh, somehow the universe works around it and they still meet. Okay, now let's move to a different kind of genre, uh, the Iron Fae. This is a type of series that will take you not actually fey, like a really like a fantasy world and all the we have the yes the iron king iron daughter iron queen and the iron knight right here and they're all by julie kagawa then the uh, hush hush series it was by uh, becca Fitzgerald, and then the following series it is by lauren kate uh, this one, it has like a um, continuation series, but this is a one series, then we have a different kind of series. I do not own those ones, although I do like them, the Forgotten ones. And it's still, it's like a continuation to this series, which you, this is what I love, like, you know, when you fall in love with the series, and you're like, you don't want it to finish, and then somehow the author will find a way to like, keep you into that and like keep you like enjoying the same type of it. For me the complete series of this one it is only the Lord of the Rings which it is by uh, J.R. Uh, Tolkien I think how you pronounce the whole name and that one is for, by the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers and Returning of the King. Oh, you can see I don't really need to look at it. Yes I have read the books after I watched the movie and I do apologize, I do that a lot of times. If I like the movie and I need to know more about it, I actually will start to read the book. Uh, this one is the only like, um, like, they're a little cut a lot of it. So yeah, The Lord of the Rings, I don't think I need to say much about it. Um, I do recommend this uh, series uh, because if you don't like it, it's too stretch or too big, the books, I do recommend this one. Uh, the other ones, they have a lot of details, and if you're not into it, don't go for the Umbridge series. It's amazing for the ones that are fanatics, uh, which I do love it. Uh, so, yeah. This is, I think, the only one in the genre that I have. Yeah, go for this one. Now I'm going to start with a new genre, which this one, it is... Uh, the longest series that I think I've ever read. It is The Morgavia of Vampires, and again, I'm blaming on my best friend. Uh, this one that I uh, have right here, it has uh, three books in one. It's uh, volume one, and it is like three books in one. It has The Glass House, um, <clears throat> The Dead Girls uh, Dance, Midnight Alley. And it is, of course, by La uh, Rachel uh, King, right? That's her name? Yes to read it. I love this cover honestly and this is only uh, volume one guys 
which it has all the other three. This one has included the Midnight Alley and the Fist of Fools. I'm trying to get it. Ah, no, 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 no. I'm trying not to lose the order. Okay, so I'm gonna split it like this. Then volume three, right here. He has the Lord of Mystery and Cape Corpus. Then volume four, he has the Fade Out and Kiss of Dead. Nine, it is... Uh, pa, 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 pa. Ghost Town. Ten is uh, Bite Club. This is not the original picture. I think this uh, the cover. I think this two that I have right here, it is from England. I just like how they look like. They're amazing covers. Uh, they're they're better. And it's eleven, I believe. Yeah, this one it's eleven. It is the last breath. Uh, again, it is an uh, UK cover. Then the 12 one, which is the original, how it came out, I had to have it to read it. It is a black down. And then we have the 13, uh, Bitter Blood, 14, Fall of Night, and then Rachel Kane. Anyway, the whole series goes around uh, uh, like uh, in a city, which it is called Morganville. Uh, and everything is like connected with the vampires. Everything that goes around it is the vampires, how they control them, and things like that. I'll try to leave a link below to the. They made like a short uh, web series to have more idea about it, which is the Breaking Down series. So, yeah, it is Twilight, uh, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Down. Um, <clears throat> it's. Everyone should know this one. It's by Silver Mayor. Uh, sh should know that it's about vampires and everything that's going on. Lots of people know the movie. So, yeah, it is. If you like the movie, you should read the book. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. And when I met Boo Boo Stewart, I was like, oh. it's just amazing. Now, how I said I am do believe that I apologize every time I will mix it up. Something that you should read, and it's again with fallen angels, vampires, and demons, and so many other things that I don't remember right now that they are included in these fairies, I think, and many other ones. It is the Mortal Instrument series. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it properly by uh, Cassandra Krell. And it's not, it's City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, ah, it's gonna fall, City of Angels, I really love this cover, it's amazing, City of Lost Souls, and then the biggest one, it is City of Heavenly Fire, again, this one, uh, I think, I don't think I have to tell you much about it, is the Crown of, of Nick, I do not own the first one, right here, I have all of them in hard copy. I'm so happy about it. And I have it in order. Uh, they are by Sherilyn Kenyon, I think. Uh, Invincible. I don't remember who the first one, which one it is. I don't remember. I'm going to try to put it right here somewhere, which one is the first one. Infamous. Inferno. Illusion. They're pretty cool covers. Unique. And stay. This one is pretty much uh, uh, connected a lot with demons, uh, demons, uh, angels, vampires. I mean, like Nick, it's this kind of person that he's normal. He's a teenage boy, and then you he ends up being somebody so important. And like, is he evil? Is he good? Is he that? Is he gonna save the world? Is he gonna? Condemn everyone, including heaven. It's like all over the place. I, I truly love the Chronicle of Red, uh, sorry, Chronicle of Nick. Uh, perfect Chemistry by Simon uh, Alkilis. I It is a perfect chemistry. Uh, rules of Attraction and Chain Reaction. Honestly, again, this is because of my best friend, the uh, Recondivation. It's an amazing book. It's an amazing series. It's, uh, it has that Latin flavor in it. I think I've been spoke, uh, speaking about this book more than once, this series more than once in more than one of my videos. To the vampire ones, I do not own uh, all the books. It is, of course, the Vampire Academy one. I only have the first book and the last, uh, no, the first book and the fifth one in the Spirit Bound. It is the fifth book. 
Vampire Academy, The Frostbite, Shadow Keys, and uh, Blood Promise, Spearbound, and the last one I've completely blank out. I don't remember how it's called. Last Fight? No, Last Sacrifice. Last Sacrifice. And they are, of course, by Rach uh, Rachel Mead. Uh, you guys all know the Vampire Academy movie. Sorry, I do not own the first one, which it is the Arcania Chronicles. And the first book, I believe, is the Poison and Princess, uh, then the Endless Night, and the uh, Dead of Winter uh, by Kelsico. This is different. There's humans that they actually connected to this deck of cards, and each of them it has a certain power. And they can create, uh, m manipulate the time, manipulate the nature, and so many other things. So it's amazing. You really need to read it. And yeah, that's for this genre. And then I have like dystopian one. I do not own one of them because I do want the hard copy of those ones. And it is Shutter Me. Uh, dystopian. It's, uh, it's amazing. It has different people that have powers. How I said in like... Um, the Arcania Chronicles, the humans, they have powers, but this one is different. It's like the, the X-Men or Mutantics or something like that. They have different powers. The next one that I do love the series is just I want to rip like everyone else. The last chapter, let's call it like that. It is the Divergent series, which it is Divergent, Insurgent, ah, step up. Insurgent, and then the Allegiant, of course. I don't think I have to tell you any more about this thing. Everyone knows the Divergent movies, and they have read it. Please read the book. It's a lot better than the movies, especially the Insurgent one. There's so many things changing it, but of course they're going to change it. So that's why I'm, honestly, I'm pleased they change it in the Insurgent, because maybe they're actually going to change it in the last part of this one, because they change it in the movie. Change the end in the movie. Okay, so that was much about it. Now, one that I have not read the second book. I'm so afraid to read it because of so many love triangles. Anyway, it's the Starcross series. This is amazing. It's again a, like a dystopian book, but it's like a Greek dystopian book, which I love. This is what I have. It's a Starcross, Dreamless, and a Godless. Demigods, gods and uh, high school then going to like this Trojan war and so many things like that so yeah this is uh, my favorite series I think it's a really long video my favorite series that I you actually I honestly I'm uh, I have it on my audiobook the Starcrest again this one I received it again from my best friend um, how many times I read these things is not even funny. Like it's you go through it. This one I should go through it now. Like I should read it in like I don't know. You guys, if you read this one, please tell me if I should read it. Please tell me if I should actually read it. If it's worth reading it, I I honestly don't know. Um, also, please tell me from the Vampire Academy. Is it worth reading the first book? Is it? that much different from the book, sorry, from the movie, um, I need to know if I should read it or not. I'm trying to post videos every, either Wednesday or Thursday, every week, so, um, comment below, let me know if you guys read any of these ones, if you like any of them, uh, if you have a different, uh, ones that you like, like, uh, what are your favors, and Cheers. That's it. Thank you. Bye.